Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to a fresh series of ISTQB certification on Agile Technical Tester. First of all, I would like to thank all of you for your suggestion and giving your valuable poll inputs to decide on which certification to go with. We had several different certifications as well, but as at least 50% of the poll was related to Agile Technical Tester, we are getting started with the same today. So as usual, the very first tutorial is about the introduction to the certification examination, that what does consist of, what is it all about, and how does that really require your effort to support your preparation when you get into the examination of the same. So to begin with is my profile here. Of course, uh, I think you know a lot about me so far, but yes, for those who are coming for the first time to this channel, I'm a Myself, Nish Kumar Singh, I'm an ISTQB and HP certified trainer for almost 11 years now, and I've been delivering sessions for a lot of time so far. And it has been a great journey when I have been helping a lot of organizations and employees to train them on different aspects of testing. One of them is ISTQB preparation, as well as a lot of testing tools, process consulting, and improvements in their ongoing projects as well. And have been to a lot of countries and 100 plus corporate organizations to support them with their testing aspect. As we see today, we are talking about Agile Technical Tester. We are understanding that what exactly it is. So first to begin with is what is about ISTQB. So I don't think I can really uh, spend a lot of time here because by now when you come to an advanced level, you know a lot of things about ISTQB, what are the different certifications, but yes, when we are talking about this certification, this is where we are talking about an advanced level that is Agile Technical Tester. The highlighted one is the certification which we will be talking in this tutorial series, which follows after the foundation level certification, followed by that you have to obtain Agile Tester uh, to extension certification and then the advanced level that is Agile Technical Tester. Further, obviously your exams will be conducted by local body uh, within your country to organize and appear for your examination. Who can appear? Anyone, of course, those who have got or fulfilled the prerequisite. What's the cost? The cost would remain the same depending on your board. It may vary slightly, but uh, specific to Indian board, Indian testing board, the cost remains the same for any examination. Validity, it will be valid for lifelong, so you don't really have to worry about the same. The next thing is about to understand specific to this examination that what is the prerequisite of this examination. So of course, so you have to have your CTFL, that is foundation level certification. Following that, you need to have Agile Tester Extension certification, and these two becomes the prerequisite to appear for Agile Technical Tester. The exam type would remain the same, that is objective. Only MCQ questions will be asked to you. There will be a total of 40 questions carrying 64 marks altogether, evenly or unevenly distributed in some cases, like uh, earlier in different advanced levels as well, that some questions may have two points or some questions will have just one point. The duration which will be allocated to you will be 90 minutes or one and a half hour of time to answer this examination. Scheduling, you can schedule it again depending on your board. Some boards conduct it monthly once, some board conducts it twice uh, in a month and probably some boards also conduct it once in two months. So you have to be checking this information with your specific country board to find out what's the schedule to appear for the examination. And again, when it comes to location or venue to write your examination, probably we have both the provisions everywhere, that is to write online or offline, that is paper-based examination, will be decided by the local governing body itself. And the passing score criteria remains the same, which is 65% throughout all the examinations of ISTQB. Uh, that would be 48 marks out of 64 to pass the examination. So just like Agile Tester Extension, this will be a small certification program with a limited number of chapters to cover the syllabus. 
Coming up next is K levels, that is knowledge levels. So it, as it is an advanced level certification of Agile, we won't be having anything to cover as a part of K1. So in the syllabus, we don't have any questions coming at K1 level, but we do have all the three levels remaining, that is K2, K3, K4, will be uh, marked for each topic in the certification syllabus. So I think we need more time to explore things and understand better before we can hit the examination. Finally, at the end, I would like to introduce you to the different chapters of the syllabus, which will just give you a heads up that what is that we will be covering throughout this entire session and understanding also that what are the areas which will be covered as a part of this tutorial series. The chapter one is working on the requirement engineering where we'll be getting into depth of how the requirement is being managed, what are the additional steps or sub phases of requirement of uh, different projects and that would generally help you to understand in more detail that how do you derive user stories, what are the different you know acceptance criteria, reviewing them and several other things. Similarly, chapter two will take you to testing in Agile that how effectively or how detailed or how brief the testing is conducted within an Agile lifecycle model. So it is obviously different from the traditional approach, but yes, it's going to be quite interesting to explore more about that. Chapter three is also bringing up a little bit from the foundation as well, that is the test automation, that how we automate uh, most of the test in Agile and how it reliable that uh, functionality or that decision is because test automation would require a lot of scripting and quite you know expensive way to deal with the project execution. So we'll be having a lot of other, other factors to understand about TDD, BDD, and various other factors with respect to test automation. And at the end, of course, the chapter four will be talking about deployment and delivery. So deploying of the project after testing, and of course the delivery that is like CI/CD which we generally talk about with respect to Agile and DevOps concepts. So these are the uh, four chapters which will be covering in the syllabus. So the tutorial list will not be long subjected. I find it uh, enough to explain you in detail. So if required, as I mentioned earlier on previous tutorials as well, if required, if the topic is quite big to uh, explain in a small tutorial, we'll be breaking them into two different parts or different parts of tutorials to explain in detail so that it is helpful for you to uh, prepare well and pass the examination. So that's all from this particular tutorial team. We'll be getting started with the very first tutorial right from tomorrow. Stay tuned for that. And uh, of course, I would like to wish you all the very best for this preparation and preparing on your Agile Technical Test or Certification exam. All the very best. And we will be getting back to you with more updates on that. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, and keep understanding the context. Thanks for watching the video team, and happy learning.